Alrighty boys, Colm here with SVG PCs and I'm making a video today on what processor you should buy for your computer and this is going to cover every budget. Whether you're spending $300 all the way up to $3,000, we've got a CPU for every single budget. Whether you're going to be using your computer for mostly gaming or you're going to be using it for productivity like video editing or other sorts of productivity tools. This video is going to be straight to the point, so I'm going to immediately start off with whether or not you should choose an Intel or an AMD Ryzen CPU. Typically, what I would say is that if you're going to be predominantly gaming, then you would always want to choose a Ryzen CPU because Ryzen typically has better value for money and performance when it comes to gaming. Whereas if you're going to be focusing more on the productivity side of things, then Intel CPUs are typically better for productivity just because they have stronger single core performance and that kind of helps in uh, Adobe apps like Premiere Pro for video editing, etc. Whereas on the other hand, Ryzen is typically better for gaming. They make the fastest gaming CPUs currently on the market. Typically, they just have a better value for money as well, better price to performance. And with what we've been seeing recently with Intel, Intel is it's going in the gutter. Like the stock price has been going down for, you know, the past five years, especially since Ryzen really started to pick up speed and AMD kind of disrupted the market for them massively. Overall, now is probably quite a good time to buy a CPU because what we're going to see in the future if Intel does completely collapse that AMD will have no competition and unfortunately as many of you probably dislike Intel if there's no competition then that just means AMD has a monopoly on the market and we've seen it with an NVIDIA where if there is a monopoly on the market then we always see prices rise hopefully you know Intel will figure something out and get their shit together that's where we're at for now in terms of the Intel versus Ryzen so typically if you're going to be doing more productivity based stuff always go with Intel, whereas if you're mostly going to be doing gaming type stuff, then go with Ryzen. I'm going to start off by giving a list of all the CPUs that you want to be doing for your gaming builds, and then I'll address the productivity CPUs towards the end of the video. Starting off with our ultra budget processor, this is going to be the CPU that you want to buy if your builds anywhere from the 300 to $500 kind of range, and that is the AMD Ryzen 5 550. This is the best budget gaming CPU that they make right now and as of currently it's £64 which is super super cheap. Anything below that like the 4500 or the 4100 I would argue is just not worth it because you're saving you know maybe 10 to $20 maximum but you're getting significantly worse performance. The 550 is the sweet spot for ultra budget PC gaming. You compare this with most lower tier graphics cards and most of the time it's still going to be your graphics card being the limiting factor, the bottleneck, rather than the CPU. Moving up from that, the next step up for the 500 to 700-ish, 800-ish dollar range would be the Ryzen 7 5700X, which is going currently for 124. And that's if you want to upgrade, if you're still on AM4 or you just want an AM4 system for the cheaper RAM, cheaper motherboards, that kind of thing. When you're in and around that 500 to 800-ish budget, you'll still typically be on AM4. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, they no longer seem to make the X3D version enough. I can't seem to find it anywhere available at the moment, which is unfortunate because that's a really good budget CPU as well. Same goes with the 5800X3D. I can't seem to find that anywhere either. Moving up from that, this is going to be our first budget AM5 CPU, and it's going to be the 7600X. You can also get the 7600, which comes with a cooler, and that's basically the same price, and the performance is pretty much the same. Like there's maybe a 1%, 2% difference maximum. Basically the same performance, but this is your entry level to the AM5 platform. There is slightly cheaper CPUs, but this overall is the best value for money on the lower end. If your budget is in and around the 800 to 1200 range, I would look at this CPU. This is a really good budget CPU on the AM5 platform. If you want your fast DDR5 RAM, you want nicer, better motherboards with uh, more support for things like PCIe Gen 5, etc. then this is the CPU that you want to go for if you're in that 800 to 1200 range. Moving up from that, if we're still in the 1200, but kind of moving up to like, you know, the 1500, 1600 range, spending the extra little bit of money to get the 9600X for that very marginal, but still noticeable performance bump that you do get from moving up to the 9000 series over the 7000 series is definitely worth it in my opinion. Especially 
especially if you're planning on spending around 1200 and up. For the very small difference in price, you know, you might as well get your extra little bump in performance as well. Moving up to the kind of the big boy leagues in the 330-ish range, we've got the older generation. We got the 7000 series 7800X3D. Now, this used to be one of the best gaming CPUs on the market when it did come out not too long ago. And this is still an amazing CPU. I think the price to performance on the high end actually can't be beat currently. So this is a really good option if you're going to be spending, you know, kind of 1600 and up nearing to that $2,000 range. And now we're going into the really big, big, big boy leagues. We've got the 9800X3D, which is about 70 ish more and you know the price to performance is slightly less on this because the bump in performance isn't really that massive we haven't seen a a generational leap i would say between the 7000 series and the 9000 series there's definitely like a, a noticeable marginal bump in performance if you want to spend the extra 70 i would say overall it's it's pretty worth it. And then moving up to the balls to the wall, you have no budget. You just want to spend as much money as possible. So this is kind of the 3000 and up, you know, crazy gaming PC. For 600, we've got the 9950X3D. And this is the fastest gaming CPU that you can currently buy on the market. AMD's absolutely killed it in terms of gaming performance. So we typically see that the X3D does significantly better performance in games. So if you can pick this, up if you got an infinite budget and you're just rich then definitely pick up this cpu if you want to see the best performance in games so that covers the gaming side of things and we're going to move on now to the video editing portion an important thing that i want to know when you buy a intel cpu especially if you're planning on doing video editing. Something that you need to note is quick sync. Quick sync is hardware-based video encoding and decoding. Basically, when you play back the video whilst you're scrolling through the timeline in your editing software, quick sync on Intel CPUs helps you to play back that video better and quicker because it takes stress off your GPU and it's done on the iGPU that's inside the Intel processor. Now, if you get a K version of any Intel CPU, so you see it says K after 12600, so it's the i5-12600K, that means there is a iGPU within the processor. Whereas if it says an F after it, so if this said i5-12600F, rather than K, that would mean that there's no iGPU and then you're kind of buying an Intel CPU for no reason. You're not gonna get any real gains over a Ryzen processor with your video editing. So make sure that you get the K version, not the F version of your Intel CPU. On kind of the more budget low end, typically when you make an editing rig, you're spending significantly less money on your graphics card and you're allocating more money to your RAM and to your processor. You know, let's say, you know, your budget's into that 800 range. You're you're taking a massive portion on what you would probably spend, which, you know, if you're getting a gaming PC for that kind of money, you'd probably get a 9600 XT or something like that. Whereas for a budget editing rig of the same price, you get a significantly cheaper graphics card. So you probably get an RTX 550 or something, something a decent amount cheaper. And then you're allocating more of that budget. So, you know, on that kind of lower end, you'd probably have a 5600 or some Ryzen processor. Whereas this, you want to be spending significantly more money so you'd want to get the i5-12600K if you're planning on spending around that you know 600 to 700 800 ish kind of range on a video editing rig. Typically the rule that you want to follow is whatever your budget is for your editing or productivity rig would be just spend as much money as possible as you can on a good Intel CPU. So the more money that you have to spend the more money that you allocate towards getting a good Intel CPU and make sure it's the K version. I'll give you some more examples here. We've got the i7-4700K, if you're planning on spending, you know, around about a thousand, maybe slightly more. And then moving up from that, you also have the i9-14900K. Now I'll admit to you right now that I don't know particularly a huge amount about Intel CPUs. I do do video editing. However, I also game, so I have a Ryzen CPU. I would recommend kind of looking a little bit deeper into more reviews on what is the best Intel CPUs to buy for specific budgets. But this is kind of just a basic overview that I can give you right now 
it from what I currently know. Obviously, I've got to plug us SVG PCs. So we build custom gaming rigs for your budget. So you can come down and click this button right here. Just tell us how much you want to spend on a gaming PC. And then we'll build a gaming PC within your budget that gives you the best performance for your money. So let's say your budget's something weird, like you want to spend 650, no more, no less. We'll make the best gaming system that you can for that price rather than you trying to go out yourself and figure it all out. We'll do all the heavy lifting for you. We also have PCs that you can buy right now. So if you click this button, all of the pre-built PCs that we have available, you can buy. And if you want advice, you can either click the get advice button or you can join our Discord, which is kind of a community of like-minded PC gamers. Like and subscribe. We've been getting a lot of love on the channel for over the past few days and I really appreciate it. So if you genuinely enjoy the content, like and subscribe. That kind of sums up the video. If you got any particular questions, just leave them in the description if you're still not sure after watching this video of what cpu that you want to get just leave your question that you have down in the comments that kind of wraps up the video thank you for watching column from svg pcs out